Hey guys, welcome back to another video on this weird and wonderful AI art channel. In this video, I'll be comparing images upscaled using Magnific AI as well as the upscaler in Midjourney. The original image in these cases was generated using Midjourney, so all the samples I'll be using are from Midjourney, but they have been upscaled using Magnific and also upscaled using Midjourney. In both cases, to keep the comparison fair, I am using the 2x upscale size. Um, so these are the images that I played with. Um, this one here, some portraits, some video game style images, as well as landscapes, uh, 3D renders, and illustration. So for some of these, I used a prompt. In other cases, I didn't. Just wanted to see how they would render in Magnific and in some cases I did find having a prompt does make a difference. It adds more details to the image. Uh, however, in other cases it doesn't. Uh, predominantly the differences I noticed was on the 3D render landscape, not so much. Uh, the video game, yes. Um, in the portrait, not so much, no. Um, I did notice a big difference and improvement in this image. Um, again, Initially, I tried to use the science fiction and horror optimizer, but um, I didn't like the result. You can see that here it becomes very horror very quickly and the sliders were not that high. Creativity 2, HDR 1, resemblance 0 and uh, without a prompt here, it just goes very, yeah, scary and horror theme for me, for my liking anyway. So in the end, I tried to upscale this uh, just using the film and photography uh, optimizer, which keeps the result more in line with the original image, right? It's a cyberpunk uh, neo landscape. And uh, yeah, I like the result here. All right. So we're going to go into Lightroom and this is where we will be comparing those images. All right. So we are in Lightroom here. Just let me explain what you're seeing up on the screen. All these images flagged in green are the original Mid Journey creations. So if I open one, this is a Mid Journey image and it's the original size of that particular image. Um, the ones in red are the upscaled images using Mid Journey, right? These are all Mid Journey upscaled by 2x. Uh, the ones in purple here are all upscaled just 2x, but there are two variations. Um, so these images are from Magnific, right? All the ones in purple are highlighted here in the Lightroom collection. These are all Magnific images. Um, in some cases, I have upscaled them using a prompt and without a prompt. So I just wanted to compare that, which I might do later. But for the purpose of this video, I want to compare just the mid journey upscale with the upscaling using Magnific and see which one comes out on top. So let's start by using maybe the sci-fi image here. And let's look at the sci-fi one here. So I'll select that one first because I want the mid journey on the left and uh, Magnific on the right. So let's do that. Go to the comparison mode. And here we can see that on the left, it's quite illustrative, quite flat, not much definition in that original image. You can see here there's some forms of humans, human figures, some signs, um, some neon signs distant buildings. Again, not a lot of definition in this particular case. Whereas when you compare this with what you see on the right hand side, of course, I'll be I'll admit the faces are not really well defined, but that's a small portion of that image size. However, the main subjects are a lot more well defined. The signs start to have some lettering on them. So start to look a little bit more realistic. And the people figures here start to take some shape as well. Uh, which is quite interesting. Uh, the rain is rendered quite well on both upscales. But again, you see this has a lot more definition in the buildings than on the left with mid journey. Now have a look at the illustration. Let's compare that with maybe this one here. Compare. And you can see not much difference, right? Not much difference in the upscales. The only difference I notice is the contrast is stronger. Contrast is stronger in this one versus the original. 
and again the definition in these bushes and grass is a little more a little bit more sharper um, this formation would appears to be some horses and horse riders a little bit more well defined correct number of legs and position correctly uh, here okay we've got three legs in the front one at the back so not too good here um, but again looking at this image I'd say this one is a little bit more crispier from Magnific as opposed to mid journey which is a little bit softer and not well defined in some of the details here but still both are usable and you could use them in your project uh, if the illustration is what you were going for so in this case i think they are pretty much neck and neck maybe magnific is a little bit ahead because of these few extra details that it adds now let's have a look at the landscape this is one of the landscape images let's compare this with magnific Ooh, wow hopefully you can see that already big difference big 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 difference the water slow shutter has worked here it looks okay yes that's how you would see the water this more looks like a uh, long exposure where the shutter has been dragged for a lot longer um, but you can see the definition of the rocks the leaves this cliff here there's really hardly any detail in this mid journey upscale However, when you compare that with Magnific, I mean, wow. Individual leaves are well defined. The rocks, the lichen formation on the rocks, the algae is, it's all there. It, this looks real. If you showed that to someone who didn't know this was AI generated image, they probably couldn't tell the difference. They would think this is real photograph that you've taken somewhere beautiful. So looks pretty nice this one this one here let's have a look at others let's look at the video game asset here this one compare that with this from magnific um, okay e obvious difference the definition in this panels is a lot more than here the buttons are all well rendered that's okay uh, the screen detail here it's hard to know what it is but here you can see it's some sort of a satellite map or a view of where you're going with this uh, spaceship i guess the seat has more details although this is unnecessary because you would want to be sitting there whereas mid journey obviously rendered that well uh, it added some joystick and buttons here to the armrest which is cool um, on the left side you've got these plants and vegetation which you're passing and here it's a lot more well defined you look at the distance as well um, compare that with mid journey obviously a lot more definition in that area so I would say probably in my view Magnific does a better job of the upscale here still I can see some problems with this image but I think that's just general AI upscaling problems okay now let's look at the 3d render so let's go to our 3d render compare that with this one um, when we look at this the formation of the rocket and its boosters they're pretty much neck and neck in terms of the detail and smoothness as you would expect in the 3d render uh, the only thing where i can see some uh, areas where it's better in magnific is this kind of supporting station here at the back you see this is just wires and metal and whatever there's not any definition yes there's a structure but has no definition uh, in it uh, it almost looks like this is desolate and crashed or damaged whereas here it looks like okay you've got some stairs to go up uh, some railings some pipes more railings on the platform uh, multiple layers of platform here this arm uh, looks well defined as well on this side if you compare again more definition here so I'd say in this case yeah Magnific does a better job at rendering that 3d image now let's look at some portraits so this is one of the portraits that I upscaled compare that with this one here and okay looks like if we zoom in 100% 
let's get that 100 there we go um, you can see a lot more detail huge difference this looks heavily airbrushed on the left the mid journey imaged very much airbrushed retouched heavily there's no definition in the skin this is porcelain skin very much telltale signs this is an ai generated image and again if you look at the hair on the ends are okay but here in between the detail gets all muddled up uh, whereas if you look at on this one on the right with magnific there's a lot more detail yes a lot more messy but regardless that there is a lot more detail and again if you look at the skin tones here the skin has texture there's no texture here Although it does try to, if you zoom in further, you'll see it's kind of noodles and things in there trying to create texture, but it's not real texture. Here, this is creating real texture, some markings on the skin, some minor imperfections as well that one might have. Also, you see the natural eyelid folds here, and here it looks like a Barbie doll. Uh, this looks a lot more real. Uh, more eyebrow definition, eyelashes, um, and again here if you look at the neckline here yeah a lot more definition looks like real skin of a human so definitely uh, Magnific did a better job at rendering this image and I think the other thing I noticed here as well along the edge where you have this rim light you see some of the hair of the skin and they are lit up there's more definition here again there's not much again in the underarms there's more definition um and overall yeah a better result from magnific um wouldn't expect anything different but just because we have an image let's compare these two as well um again yeah not much different than what i said before you can see this looks like a more real human being uh, a lot more detail in the eyes skin texture um, the hair itself has a lot more detail and again like i said this looks you know very porcelain very retouched this starts to look a lot natural here the skin textures of this image again here you can see that looks a lot natural the hair hairline here whereas here it just blends into the skin all right guys thanks for watching this video hope you liked it give it a thumbs up if you did let me know in the comments what you think uh, anything else that you want to see in terms of comparisons or any experiments, particularly with Magnific. I still have plenty of credits to burn through in this month. So let me know your thoughts and uh, make sure you subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.